Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Got a question for the people that still do use their common sense. Okay, so all of us, since we are kids, we, we have this innate feeling of what is wrong and what is right, what makes sense and what does not make sense. It's called fitra. So here's the question, and anybody can answer this. I just want you to be honest, please. Okay, let's say that there was two missionaries. One was Muslim and the other was Christian. Both of them wanted to propagate their own religions. But they set out together to the Amazonian forest to people that have never come in contact with human beings. Their language is not understood. They really don't have any religion. So the Muslim missionary and the Christian missionary went out and they finally made contact with these people and started their propagation of their own religions. Okay, so these are people that have never met other humans before. They don't know about Christianity. They don't know about Islam or Judaism or Buddhism or Hinduism. Nothing. But here we have two missionaries, one Christian and one Muslim. So these two missionaries sit with them and learn their language uh, enough to speak uh, within six months. They built a bond and they built a trust with these people. And so both of the Muslim and the Christian missionary decide, you know what? I think it's time to call them to our religion. The Christian says, you have to believe in a man getting nailed to the cross and in his passing away, that is a redemption for your sins. So God sent his only son to go on the cross and die for your sins. And that he's also a part of the Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, one and three, three and one, yet they're just one. The Muslim says, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. How do you be a Muslim? All you need to say is that I bear witness that there is no other God worthy of worship except the Creator, God, and that Muhammad is the last prophet. We pray five times a day, we pay our zakat, we fast in the month of Ramadan, and we make Hajj at least once in our lifetimes if we can afford it. Now, here's the question be honest. Which one is more easier for this person that has never come in contact with humans or religion? Which one is going to be more natural and personal? A relationship with God alone or a relationship with God through Jesus? I think it's a no-brainer. I think humans are naturally wired to believe in one God and form a relationship and worship Him alone. But hey, I'm asking you, so hit me in the comments below. What do you think? What is more natural, Christianity or Islam, to the Amazonian people that have never come in contact with humans? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eid Mubarak.